St Paul's Cray, Foots Cray, 1980s and 2023. In the 1980s I was very concerned about the number of old buildings disappearing. So I photographed parts of Orpington, Kent and London to create a record. I mainly focused on listed and locally listed buildings as well as anything else that was interesting or anything that looked like it was about to be demolished. I was struggling to identify some of these buildings so I eventually tried Google Lens to find three of them after all conventional measures had failed and it was surprisingly effective. In this video I'll show how the places have changed from the 1980s to 2023 and also how I found three of them along with a little history on each of the buildings. I hope you enjoy, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience, change seen through images. These photos were some of the first I took of old buildings. I recorded the date of each roll of film but not where they were taken and now I need to identify them. I knew where the pub was, obviously, and so worked out another building by walking round the pub. But the other three I did not recognise, nor did the very mature local people I asked. So I then tried Google Lens. But before then, let's start with the pub. Looking at a map, St Paul's Cray is in outer London, on the edge of the London Borough of Bromley. Coming in more closely, we can see the Bull Pub here. I must have liked this pub as I came back in 1985 and took another photo from a different angle. What I find particularly interesting in the photograph is the cars and the pub signs. There was a sports car parked outside the front of it in 1981 and it was a Whitbread pub. In 1985 it was still a Whitbread pub but this time there was an old style mini parked outside. Coming back in 2023, we can see the pub is pretty much the same, though the signage and paintwork has changed. Oh, and the shutters have been removed. The building is a grade two listed and its front dates from the 18th century and the back the 19th century. Looking at the listed buildings map from the London Borough of Bromley, we can see this part of St Paul's Cray is a conservation area, shaded in red, with several listed buildings, shown in orange, including the Bull and locally listed buildings shown in blue. One of the listed structures is this K6 telephone box, which unfortunately I did not photograph back in the 1980s. However, I did photograph the Church of St Paulinus in 1981. Interestingly, it looks like from the sign outside that it was then a day centre for aged concern. This is a very old church with substantial remains from the 11th century, though it has been modified quite a lot since. It is a grade two star listed building. The building next to the church was still in use as a school in 1982. It was the St Paul's Cray Church of England Infant School. Looking at the listed buildings map, the old school along with all the buildings next to it are actually locally listed. So that was the 1980s and this is what the area looks like in 2023. We can see the church is now back to use as a church, the redeemed Christian Church of God. The building looks pretty much the same, though the plants out the front are a lot bigger. The school has now gone and is a private house. The next picture confused me. I thought it was near the others as it was on the same strip of negatives but I couldn't find it so this is when I used Google Lens. These are the screenshots. It was very simple just from the Google screen to drag the photo into it and pretty much instantly it came up with some results and after looking at them it looked like it was almost certainly the old Cray Valley Hospital. Incidentally, this hospital had several names over the years as its use and administration changed. Here it is on a 1897 Ordnance Survey map. We can also see the Bull Inn in the bottom corner and one of the paper mills that used to dominate the area. This is the same view now, quite overgrown to say the least. The entrance, which is on Sandy Lane, is no longer used, but the building is 
and is part of the Bannertime Orpington Health Club. Looking on a modern map, we can see St Paul's Cray here with the Bull Pub and then just along Sandy Lane, the Bannertine Health Club. Then if we cross the A20, on the right we can see the Ruxley Garden Centre, which incidentally contains an ancient monument, link to my video on that at the end. Then we move into the London Borough of Bexley and Foots Cray, where we come to the next area where I took pictures in 1981. I also used Google Lens to identify this church which I had taken several pictures of in 1981. I think because it had a wooden steeple and I'd not seen one of those before. This was quickly identified as the parish church of All Saints. It is in Rectory Lane, Foots Cray. It is a grade two star listed building and parts of it go back to around 1330, although it was extensively remodeled by the Victorians in 1872. Looking at the building in 2023, it looks quite similar. The gate at the front did look different, but on closer inspection, it is actually the same, except the wood has been stained brown rather than the black from the 1980s. Looking at an old ordnance survey map from 1870, it can be seen here. And just moving along the road a little bit, we can see another building that I use Google Lens to identify. On the map, it is described as a national school. Also, as another aside, there's another paper mill. This time it's Footscray. This is the school in 1981. And I must have photographed it as it was unusual. The schools I was used to didn't have clock towers. Well, in 2023, it is still here and it is still a school. And it still has a clock tower. It also looks a lot cleaner now. The tiles have definitely been cleaned. There is a stone on it stating that it was first built in 1815 and rebuilt in 1882, which is when I'm guessing the clock tower was added. That makes it over 140 years old now, or 100 years when I took the first photo. If you find some old photos of buildings and don't know what they are, I would strongly recommend trying Google Lens. I did get some weird results at first, but through a quick process of elimination was able to identify the buildings and confirm them by visiting. If visiting isn't an option, you can always use Google Maps with Street View to check the identity, especially as it is often possible to go back to 2008 for old images, which incidentally is how I confirmed the old hospital site. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If so, please click the like button. I'll be making more similar videos, so please like and subscribe for future releases. This is the link I mentioned earlier to the video on the ancient monument in Ruxley Garden Centre. And this is a link to a similar video on Chelsfield Village. Links to more videos on how Kent and London have changed can be seen at the end. Thank you for watching Eclectic Experience. Change seen through images.